Hello everybody, thank you for tuning into this video. This is going to be part of my Facebook fan page, which is, you can see on the board there. It's facebook.com slash train MMA. And this is the first of many videos that I'm going to be putting up, going over different techniques, uh, nutrition tips, conditioning, anything related to fighting and mixed martial arts. So for this first video, we'll jump right into it, we're going to be going over the double leg. Okay? And the double leg is probably one of the most mistaken moves in martial arts. Even the best wrestlers make mistakes all the time with it. And I'm gonna go over all the little details that most people already know, but then I'm gonna hammer down on one of the most essential details to a good double that most people don't realize. So, demonstrating first here. Oh, I'm in jab range. I should be able to touch my opponent. Okay, and this is also one of the main causes for a bad double. Oh. Now, let's break it down. First, again, like I said before, I want to be within jabbing range. If I'm further out, don't even try it because you're going to shoot a bad double. You have to be able to touch. Okay, so for MMA, boom, popping a good jab and knowing you can hit, that's the start. Once I'm in hitting range, lowering our stance, okay, boom, right here, resting, they call this the split step. Okay, where I'll lower my level. One step low, heel. So, knee, boom. That part is the penetration step. Lowering your stance, heel, toe, knee. Okay. This is to make sure that you're going in smooth. When you're shooting a double, you want to imagine you're a, a torpedo. You drop and then shoot across. Okay. Most people do a double leg on the ski slope, which they shoot down like this. Boom. And what happens is a lot of your energy ends up hitting the ground and if you're complaining about bad knees, that's because you're shooting the double wrong. Okay, so touching distance, lower, heel, toe, knee, boom. Now I make contact. Now I'm gonna touch upon here what most people mess up with the double. So what happens is we know we wanna grab the legs. Okay, so when I start shooting in, I can see the legs and I, I'm going to do this and reach and when you reach your double leg falls apart okay so you have to pretend you're a t-rex right boom and I can't move my arms further than this so my elbows are glued to my hips okay so when I shoot boom you see the difference in my posture here I got my head up my back is straight Okay? And both my hands are able to clamp onto his legs. So I'm not reaching for the legs. Okay? If you use your hands here and try to reach, what happens is I might be able to grab on, but look at my posture here. It's very weak. If he sprawls right now, boom. There's no way you're going to be able to keep your base. Okay, so if you shoot good, even if he sprawls, okay, I'm here, boom. he sprawls. Okay. I'm still upright because okay. I'm built like a column when I'm like this here in a strong posture. When I reach, boom, I'm in a weak posture. Okay, so that's the number one thing that people mess up on and why you're gonna get sprawled. Okay, so from the beginning, boom, jab, heel, toe, knee, boom. Okay, my arms. It will change the angle here. It's gonna be like this. My head is up. My arms are clamping over on his legs. I'm gonna try to reach as low as I can while maintaining a solid grip, okay? You gotta picture his leg like a door. This here, like his hip is the hinge, his foot is the handle. So the closer I can get to that handle, the more leverage you're gonna have to, boom, turn him through, okay? But you have to compromise. Because what happens is, if I try to reach too low, I don't have a grip. Okay, so usually for most people, it means right around the knees, where I can have a good grip on the leg, but I'm not too high. The mistake I see people make is they're very high in the crotch or in the groin right here. So I don't have a lot of leverage to pull the leg out. Okay, so boom, for me, it's about right here. If you have longer arms, you can get away with getting lower. 
My head is up now. Okay, so from here, this leg right here is going to drive. And I'm going to push with my head, boom, at a diagonal right here. Okay, so, so a different angle right here, touching range. Boom. I'm inside the shot, head is up. I drive into him. Because notice this leg back here steps up. I'm pushing. Boom. Stepping up. Boom. Okay, that's important. Because I want to face a double leg from a standing position, not on my knees. I push. I step. Okay. Now notice how he's on one leg at this point, because I'm lifting this one up. If I keep pushing, okay, to keep your balance here, keep pushing, boom. He's gonna hop, all right? So I wanna make him hop, and as he's hopping, I'm pulling with this hand. You see how big of a throw I can get out of it. Because when this man's hopping, he's weightless. He could be a 300 pound guy, but as soon as he jumps, he's like, he weighs zero pounds. So that's the moment that you wanna wah, swing the legs out. So we go through again, jab, heel to a knee. Boom, 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 right here. Takes a little bit of practice to get the timing down for when you feel the hop. But generally for me, when you see the guy's knee bend, you know the jump is eminent. Because the guy can't jump with his legs straight. The knee has to be bent. So if you watch Jason here, I start in. You see how that knee started to bend there? That's my time to go. Again, I'm pushing. Oh. Right away. Final detail is finishing. When I shoot in, I come up, boom. Notice I'm holding on to the legs the whole time. Your reflex when you shoot a double is going to be the post. Why? Because your body doesn't take into account that he's landing. He just thinks of this. And I don't want to land, boom, like this here. So it's always going to want to let go of the post. But when you let go, you give him a split second to recover. You don't want to do that. So give you a di different angle so you can see the landing. Here. Boom. My hands stay on the legs the whole time. My shoulder braces the impact against the stomach. And this is a good thing for you because you can get a body knock out of this if you get the shoulder right to the solar plexus take the guy's wind out and give you a, a better chance of finishing the fight. So when I land, boom, I'm right here. Okay, so one more time. Okay, I'm in touching range, lower my level, heel to knee, head up, boom, strong posture. I'm hooking by the knees, driving, he jumps, oh, lift the legs out. I land with my shoulder on the solar plexus. Once smoothly. Okay, so that's the double leg broken down all the basic steps. Remember, one of the main things I want to emphasize here is the reaching of the shot. Okay, never look for a double leg when it's not there. There's gonna be times you do everything right, but I shoot and maybe he steps back. Okay, don't go here, let it go. There's other ways of moving on after this missed double. But if I do this, I'm risking getting countered and giving him a better opportunity to counter attack. If I'm here and I missed, other things I can do, I can just keep moving in and look at the body. Boom. Okay, so, you know, smoothly, I can go here and touch, shoot, boom. And look right into the body line. You have other options like we shooting, where I can come here, shoot, he steps back, boom. And I go with a consecutive double leg. Okay, so we'll get into those in later videos, but just for now, don't get desperate and reach for a shot, because that's going to be the downfall of your double leg.